Hey guys, World Eater here. Today we're going to be going over some more tier 2 camping tips and this tip is going to be involving the shop, both holiday and normal shop. Now this doesn't just pertain to the holiday at the current holiday, this pertains to any event, period. Whether it's a holiday event or a Kong event, it does not matter. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the holiday event. Just as a quick reminder, make sure you click the tree and the snowman every day until the end of the event because they seem to be giving little goodies every single day. So for the holiday, it's fairly simple for this event. You're going to pretty much avoid everything. <laughs> this is for tier two only, by the way. You avoid everything except the material box. Now this is only if you're trying to be very, very, I guess, I guess if you're really trying to get the best out of everything because if you're trying to get the stuff that's really hard to obtain for a tier 2 it's all in the material box you can obviously roll the boost box to try to get the bit gore but that might be a waste if you end up getting it last i tried rolling it once and i didn't get it and i was like you know what i'll try this later um you're supposed to roll the material box completely first before anything now the reason for that is because all of this is literally impossible to get other than these last two items Everything else is literally impossible to get unless you get in a bundle or a daily or in some kind of a daily mission. These are all impossible to get just by farming. So you want to get these. They're not in your rewards. They're not in anything like that. So this is what you want to go for, for sure. After that, I honestly recommend avoiding these shrimp schematics. They're way too overpriced. I believe they should be around 500 ginger cookies since they don't have a built-in brain and they're only rares. I know they're really nice, but they're really not worth that much. If they were epics, maybe, but they're not. So they're completely overpriced. Do not get them. But if you do want to get them for some reason, the Jolly Shramp schematic is the better one. So that will be the one you'll be getting. The new cosmetics chest is way cheaper than the old one. And in my opinion, have way nicer cosmetics. The old cosmetics chest is nice. They have some things like the grumpy mask and the bear boost now but they're not really that great. It's entirely up to you and it is again up to your opinion on what you like. It's your taste. That's what I like. So who knows? You might like the stuff in there, but that's going to be it for the holiday shop. Always get materials first, then the boost and then whatever you want after that. Obviously you can play how you want, but that is my recommendation. Let's go ahead and head on to the shop. Now, before I start on featured, I'm going to go from the back forward. So we're going to start in the other tab. Now these, these new player packs are okay. The $5 one isn't the greatest, obviously. The medium one is nice, but just know that you are getting a chance at rares here, so you gotta be careful. This is just for those who want a quick start. Obviously, you don't have to buy these. They're not the greatest bundles in the world, but they do come with Mount Guts, which is very nice, and they do have two rolls of each, and that's nice. The Bub Gore also goes a long way. That points are loved, so we're good here. The beginner bundle or the beginner rune bundle in my opinion is the best beginner bundle to get um in tier 2 camping only because you're only paying for the 1000 gems and everything else is pretty much free so you can't really lose buying this bundle you don't have to necessarily buy it but there's no real easy way to get runes so it's a nice way to start everything else down here is completely unneeded you can obviously roll the cosmetics chest once you get a little more comfortable if you want some of those nice cosmetics but they are not needed go ahead and go to boost you're only going to buy three boosts on here that's going to be the first three green ones which is minor item find scroll minor experience tomb and minor gold potion you don't need the minor speed kicks the only time i ever buy speed kicks or boosts in that matter in bulk especially is if they are on sale if these are half off for 2500 i will buy 50 of them sometimes i even buy 100 I'll do that for every single one of these just to save some gold in the long run, but you don't have to do that. Now for the gear, nothing here is worth unless you see that little sale tag on it, except the large defense accessory box. This box is honestly very, very solid, only for two accessories, sadly, in my opinion. Let me go ahead and check these out real quick. Like these are okay. They're not really that great, honestly. Like this um 20 block is not too bad with the five damage reduction. But the only two really good ones are gonna be Medusa Bell and of course Aerial Stabilizer. Not only are they future proof, but they're also kind of good in the tier down here. So these are pretty solid. But obviously they're 1000 gems, so 
Really think about if you want to roll that chest or just wait for the normal one. Go ahead and go to Featured. Now, here the flash sale is always different, but if you can find a good sale on Mount Guts like I have here, take advantage. I might even actually roll it right now. Go ahead and check it out. Ooh, got a cosmetic. Not what I wanted, but that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay. Anything involving gold, you obviously buy as a tier 2 camper. You know what? I'm going to roll this one more time. Need more guts. Okay. Avoid every single adventure bag you see. Don't even click on them. So any kind of pack similar to this one where it comes with a week-long gore is usually worth it. It's usually around $30. You have a week-long gore, a whole week, seven days of 250% along with these consumables, which two are used in tier two camping, which is very nice. The others can be saved and you get these nice, unique cosmetics that usually only come around during these events. So make sure you snag these if possible. The raid push pack is obviously not needed. It does come with a nice chicken gore, which is pretty nice. So if you really need capture rate for those Robbies, you could consider getting this, but you're only really paying for the gore and you'll be saving this the gore and the stat points of course so it's not really too crazy to go for um trials push pack it's nice but not really needed but it's it's pretty nice only because you can farm this you can pretty much make this last 10 weeks because i only pop one of these packs a week and you'll have a nice sun gore to save again avoid the adventure bags weekly gem orb no matter what orb it is always buy it if possible avoid adventure bags now the ultra chicken lucky ice boost sun box is only good to buy when it's at a thousand or lower and even then you don't really need any of the stuff in tier two the, the best thing to get here is probably the six energy and obviously any boost that's above this line like right here any of these but even then you don't need these the only very viable one down here obviously is ultra gore but i wouldn't recommend wasting an ultra gore here unless you're going to go for um collar push is going to be the chicken gore the chicken gore is very very good but it's not worth rolling in my opinion so you got to be careful with this box if you have an extreme amount of gems and you just really feel like rolling it's not too bad to roll for but just know that it's not your best option now we have the xl pack here obviously it's a very nice pack but you only utilize three to four things here which is tokens energy pvp tickets and of course if you want to use the big gore the bit gore i don't recommend it i recommend using any gore that's not 500 percent or higher down here in tier two unless you're going for an extreme push like a collar push or you're trying to actually get robbie um, with a cap gore or a chicken gore of some sort so legendary mount box obviously i was rolling it right now you can tell it's something good to go for if i'm rolling it all the time it's good to go for so go for it if possible that's what you should be spending your gems on until you get a maxed out mount and even after then you might want to save up some more and if you do have some funds to spend i always recommend the mount pack it is honestly worth it in my opinion mount guts is very hard to come by at pretty much any part of the game you either have to buy it or wait for your weekly rewards and even then you have to push pretty far if you want to get a decent amount so it's always worth to buy in my opinion now these different daily orbs i don't really like them per se um the skeletal gem bundle right now this is not usually around that often but when it is i believe this is worth it i already got it myself i really needed skeletal lining i really needed regulators because again they're very very hard to come by and of course the stat point is always nice to have now every single week that these are on sale i buy these like crazy never buy the small never buy the small and i'll show you why if you click this question mark you have a 0.01 percent chance of getting a legendary you're more than likely going to get that common at 90 percent. so don't even try it now the large augment bag will give you five and you have a 3.4 percent chance and 11.8 percent chance for an epic which is nice an epic alone is very solid down here at the start at least until you get your legendary and trust me you will get them i already have two or three myself and i didn't even buy them with hard money i rolled them so they are very very nice cosmetic bundle entirely up to you you do get the gems worth of the bundle but um just know that um you're just getting cosmetics other than that so there's nothing really crazy here. It's entirely up to you. If I can do a basic rundown on what you should be focusing on, it's just materials, augments, 
and anything involving a hard sale where you don't have to roll like pets if you see here real quick you can see that i already have two accessories one of them was a hard accessory the other one was rolled and i do have three pets all of which were 20 dollars bundles in the shop now the only reason why i buy these is because if you get these to plus three and scrap them you can pretty much hard craft any pet you want and roll one i believe after that or two i'm not entirely sure and even then you can roll two if you just get one to plus three and scrap it so they're pretty worth in my opinion if you get these for twenty dollars they are worth every single time no matter what pet it is because it will have use in the future obviously you want to stick to ones that you can reforge like these these are able to be reforged to when you hit an enemy when you get hit and stuff like that so yeah that's the basic rundown another thing i got by the way is the mounts as well also worth getting now that's pretty much going to be it for everything I have to cover on this video. If you guys have any more things you are curious about regarding tier 2 camping or anything in general, please leave it in the comments below. I'll see if I can make a video on it anytime soon for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.